a documentary about the most outrageous art collective rock band in the universe. Like many people my age, I was first introduced to Guar watching Beavis and Butthead on MTV and playing the Beavis and Butthead Sega Genesis game, where the plot of the game is to find pieces to a Guar concert ticket. I always was curious about this outrageous metal band who dressed in giant armor that looked like it was made of bones and steel. It wasn't until a decade later that I actually saw Guar in concert, and then I saw them again and again and again. The thing is, I don't really love Guar's music. But why would I keep going to a concert for a band when I don't love the music? Well, that's the magic and the beauty of Guar. It's as much about the spectacle as it is about the music. I've seen them do things on stage that would make Bob Saget blush. I've seen world leaders and religious icons be beheaded, dismembered, and humiliated on stage in the most grotesque ways that you can imagine. No one is safe at a Guar concert, and that includes the people that are being murdered on stage, as well as the audience who is constantly getting sprayed with fake blood. I had always heard that Guar was just a group of artists working together to make make art that they like, which includes heavy metal, comic books, dungeons and dragons, and lots of fake blood, and other bodily fluids. But I never took the time to learn who was behind the band. This is Guar interviews all the big players who helped bring the art to life over the past 35 years. You get to meet the people behind the costumes, who in many cases are the people who made the costumes. You get to see how many people and how much effort goes into all of the stage effects that drench each audience member in fake blood. At one point, someone mentions that at least 100 people have been in the band or worked with the band to bring the show to life. I was pretty much mesmerized through this entire documentary. I always knew it was just regular folks bringing this act to life, but to see them and to hear them talk about it, it just really brought a smile to my face. They never made a lot of money, but this group of starving artists pour their heart and soul into the twisted visions to bring them to life, and it brings such joy to like-minded people that it's always been enough. There's been a lot of tragedy in the Guar universe, and even some crazy unbelievable stories, one involving an attempted robbery I actually wanted to learn more about. There's just too much history to learn about in this two-hour documentary. Even people who you would think have no interest in Guar, they're still intrigued. They've been interviewed on national TV by Joan Rivers, and they've been on Fox News in their Guar characters. The characters in Guar are crazy. It is impossible not to be at least a little bit curious. Now, Guar is a band that you have to see to believe. I have drugged my fair share of people to see Guar in concert, and they have always left in awe of the spectacle. Guar still tours, and they still offend people. If you get the chance, put on a white t-shirt that you don't mind ruining, and drag the family to the show. If Weird Al Yankovic can be a fan of Guar, there's no reason that you shouldn't be a fan of Guar. Being nominated for a Grammy and having to dress like a human. Fox News interviewing a scum dog of the universe. Hauling gallons of fake blood on stage. Having the respect of Weird Al Yankovic. Making your own props and costumes. On stage decapitation. Playing guitar with that thing on your head. 